Hey girls and guys, it's Presley, and today in this video, I'm going to be talking about dentists, because why the hell not? I feel like talking about dentists today. So, my mom gets notified that I have a dentist appointment, and she lets me know, and I'm like, alright, cool, dentist appointment. And as soon as I walk in to get checked in to let me know that where my room is, and I have to sit down in a chair and wait for me to be called... And I get called down to a room, of course, and to get the procedure started. And, oh my God, this is one issue, one issue that I have with dentists, maybe two, is that they talk way too much when they're working on your mouth. Here, let me show you an example. So, I heard you're going to graduate this year. How are your classes? I bet your classes are really hard and interesting since you're a senior this year. Wow, when are you going to graduate? I bet it's going to be really fun since you're going to graduate and everybody's going to cheer for you and whatnot and blah, blah, blah. Oh. Like, oh... My God, I can't tell you how many times that's happened to me almost every time I go to a dentist. Like, they ask so many questions when they're working on your mouth. Like, how are you supposed to respond to the person that's, like, working on your mouth with the little drill going... Like, how are you supposed to respond to that? Like, I know it's rude not answering a question, but then again, your mouth is occupied, so it's foaming with water and everything, all of the all that jazz, you know? Like, I don't know if anyone has suffered the same problem that I have, but this is just my experience with dentists that I've had, that I've had, excuse me, throughout most of the years when I go to see a dentist. And I'm about fed up with it. I am sick and tired throughout whoever, whoever works at a dentist keeps on slapping the same questions over and over again. Yeah, I do repeat myself, but that's different. Someone asking you a lot of personal questions while they're working on your mouth, it's a whole nother story. But then again, my cousin is a dental assistant. I just hope she doesn't ask the um, the patients so many questions when uh, she's working on someone's mouth. You never know if a dent if if someone starts slipping up, making one mistake, you could end up with a bloody mouth, a chipped tooth, possibly even worse. I never had any mistakes happen to me throughout throughout my mouth or anything like that. It's just I'm tired of the dentist asking so many questions, especially the personal ones. Now, here's my advice for some of you nice and helpful dent dental people, dental assistants, whatever, is that limit the questions, like, like ask less questions, three or less. Anything over three questions, just nicely respond to them. Hey, I'm sorry to t um, tell you this, but you're asking a little too much personal questions. Is it okay if you can save the questions for later after you're done working on my mouth? Something like that. I don't know how to, I never had this happen. Like I never asked them that specific question. So I just normally keep my mouth shut if, anything happens. So my advice to you dental people, just lay down on the questions, okay? It'll save you some trouble. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure if anyone has dealt with the same problems like me, but you know, it's a me problem. And I know I should keep some of my thoughts and opinions to myself, but I can't help but share my stories and opinions throughout this channel, because that's what I'm really good at. I like sharing my opinions and thoughts, because why the hell not? 
It's my creativity. I can do whatever the fuck I want. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you can relate to this little issue, let me know in the comments so I won't feel so lonely because I feel like this whole issue with dental dentist things has been a me problem. Anyway, like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.